Hello, apologies for this angle, but I couldn't really film this uh, in the other room at the moment. So um, this is going to be about the sort of cost of living crisis and how it affects this channel. Thankfully, the answer's not too much, but I thought I'd go into it, both the general thing and uh, what's going on with me as well. So obviously, if you don't know, um, because you're lucky enough that you don't have to pay bills yet because you're too young or whatever, or you're just very well off, uh, there's lots of inflation going on in lots of economies around the world, um, lots of them around 10% or more actually. So what this means is that your money doesn't go as far. So let's say you had a certain amount of money, it means that all the prices for everything in all the shops is more expensive. So you go food shopping, the food costs more. You go to fill up your car with petrol or diesel, you know, gasoline. Um, that is much more expensive, much more expensive. That's gone far more than 10%. Um, so basically, at the same time of this, you've got things where wages for conventional jobs aren't really going up by very much, as in, you know, in general economy times and stuff's all right, your wages will go up at roughly the rate of inflation or more, which means that, you know, if something goes up in price, you're getting paid more per hour, so it doesn't matter. You know, that's fine. What's going on at the moment is this sort of stagflation type thing where people's wages aren't going up or aren't going up anywhere near enough, but prices are still rising. So that means that, you know, if you're being paid a certain amount per hour at work, they might not, you know, if you get a pay rise, it's probably not going to make much of a difference at all. A full day of work might get you an extra bit of money that's not going to cover much. So, see, all around things aren't very good. Now, what I have noticed with myself is that I can't put anywhere near as much money into savings, as in when I paid for all my bills I have coming out per month, and luckily I don't have anything too expensive coming out per month other than things like car insurance, you know, stuff like that. Once all those things are covered, I have a lot, um, you know, and I've paid for food, I've paid for fuel, for things like that. Once I've covered all those and rent and everything, I've still got, you know, a lot less money than when I would have had a few months ago. Um, and a lot of this is, there's lots of things like, you know, the Russian war in Ukraine, the COVID money printing that went on. There's lots and lots of reasons why, you know, this is happening. I'm not going to go into all those reasons, but I know for nearly everyone I speak to in YouTube comments that, you know, is an adult, at least, um, they're all having these sort of issues, you know, where if they work in a business, they're having to put their prices up because of all the other prices going up. And that sometimes means that then customers won't pay for their products, you know, buy their products, you know, pay for their services, whatever because the prices have gone up and therefore um, the customers can't afford it because the customers aren't also getting more money so they're having to cut corners, you know, or cut while they're spending bills. So what this does mean for my channel, while I can still carry on doing YouTube videos as well as working my regular jobs, because like I said, I do essentially work now seven days a week, although one of those days is voluntary. So it's, let's say I work six days a week as well as, and I just fit YouTube stuff in when I've got spare times in the afternoons or evenings or whatever. The problem is, for me, is that I can't randomly buy things like gas masks people might want me to review. Now, that's always been the case to an extent, but it's a lot more of the case now. Because what you see happening with the prices of, say, gas masks on places like eBay or whatever, and helmets and whatever else, is most sellers are putting their prices up so they're getting more per mask, which makes sense because they have costs as well. Um, you know, if they're getting things shipped in bulk to sell them, they're then having to, you know, probably pay more for that shipping and whatever else because the fuel prices have gone up, you know, container prices have gone up. So what that means is nearly everything's gone up in price. Um, and as I said, I'm getting less disposable income, if you want to call it that, that I'd spend on YouTube stuff uh, anyway now because of the fact that, you know, um, everything's going up in price. And that's before you even count surplus type stuff going up in price to buy and review. And I've also found now it's getting harder to sell stuff on because a lot of people don't have the disposable income to buy stuff. So you either have to sell it for a lot less than you paid for it. Or, you know, you put it up for a sensible price and it might take ages for somebody to buy it. Or you can put it up to, you know, a price you'll get a profit and then nobody will buy it. That's the um, sort of scenario you're in now. And I know from speaking to a lot of other people, they're finding that. They either can't find items they want to buy at RRP sort of prices or close to RRP. Or, you know, if they're a seller, they're having to sell at a loss, essentially, to get stock moving. So, you know, it's, it's not good for everybody all round. Um, but yeah, I just thought that I'd give you, you know, a bit of an update on what's going on. And that's basically the case is that, you know, at the moment, you know, I can still make videos, but I'm working quite a lot. So I don't always have much free time for videos. But unless something's at a really good price, I can't really afford to keep, you know, getting stuff for videos that might be filmed once or twice. Especially because of the fact I can't move them very easily. You know, if I want to then, you know, sell them on, I'm going to have to sell them at a big loss. So then, you know, there's that. 
So there you go. Obviously, I always do appreciate it just to point out that when companies send you stuff for free to review, especially if they're sending it you to review, obviously under the you know thing of you do not have to give this a good review if you don't like the product and you're not pressured to get loads of reviews done by a certain date. I don't really like the companies where they say, you know, I don't, what's I saying, I don't review anything from companies now that say I have to either give them a good review if they send me something or can you please get a video done by such and such a date because if it takes a certain amount of time to get to me, you know, and then I'm busy with work, I don't want to be stressing to get a video film that I don't think would be very good because I just have to, you know, get the video out there and done. Because um, I do know some people have, you know, had sent been sent things before other channels I talk to and they've had the thing where the company keeps saying oh yeah but you haven't done enough videos for us yet on this thing you know so while I do appreciate you know obviously people that send me stuff to review obviously bear in mind um you know it has to really be under the assumption that I can review it fairly and I can take my time to review it but a big thank you to obviously all the companies that have sent me stuff like Radia Scan and stuff like that in the past because I do really appreciate that um, anyway, that'll be about it for this video. So yeah, I'm still making videos and everything, but just with work and everything, it's, um, you know, sometimes I don't get much spare time, which is why I end up streaming games a lot more now, just because that's a way of unwinding and chatting with people. Um, you know, where sometimes filming a video, I think I've not got, really got anything new to film. And the stuff I have got new, sometimes, you know, you're in a position where I've got a night vision scope I want to film some stuff with, which was a relatively cheap but good night vision scope. But the problem is that, you know, it, we're in summertime now, so it's bright all day and it's bright quite late into the evenings. And if I'm knackered from work type stuff, I'm not going to be up late enough to then go out and film with a night vision. So we might have to wait till it starts getting darker earlier for videos and that. But anyway, there you go. That's basically what's going on with my channel. So, yes, I'm still making videos. Just bear in mind that they, some of the videos might be a bit slower coming out, depending on how much I'm having to work off of YouTube. And obviously, um, I can't really just keep buying stuff for the sake of doing videos on them unless I know for a fact that, you know, that video is going to keep getting views and therefore making money, you know. But obviously a big thank you to anybody who supports me through membership because I don't have a Patreon anymore. I closed that down because I, you know, the Patreon was taking too big a cut. I do support other channels on Patreon that use that. But, you know, obviously people that donate via Ko-fi or do the, um, you know, YouTube memberships, I do really appreciate that because obviously... That is giving me, you know, a sort of more solid income for YouTube than when it's based on ad rates and sort of how much a video gets shared. But anyway, thanks. So that's just my explanation for it. And I know a lot of other people are in a similar situation, but I thought I'd give an explanation properly for the people that, you know, might not have heard too much about why the prices are going up and then don't seem to understand why in the past I could have bought loads of stuff to do videos on. But now I'm struggling a bit to do that. 